Hey, it's my turn again. <laughs> hey, wow. Ooh. You're like, wow, I can play the game. Ooh, I can do more than just watch. Even though both of my, like, two of my characters, I think, are dead. Yeah. A flamingo. A cool fireplace. Well, if you were hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works, I think you got your wish. I kind of want that fireplace. Ray. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be careful. No, I thought it would just run around. Oh, a thing. Really quick though, please take a moment to stab that subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Doing so really does help the growth of this channel, and it allows me to keep bringing this kind of content to you. Anyway, on with the video. You found the thing. Is it the circular thing? It's no, not. It's... Victor's soldier. That's a twins add-on. Twins. Oh. It's like a museum for... I have no fucking idea what. <laughs> Something oh, unearthly for sure. Hey, Linda. Check this out. I want to check nope. this out first. Press to play. I am uh, speaking from the Tradewinds Movie Theater on Texas Avenue, where we have witnessed, are witnessing some sort of protest, or I don't know. Uh, all, all I am able to report at this point is there have been several attacks on the general public, as well as police and medical personnel. It's not overly clear, at least to us, what the uh, catalyst for the situation was, <gasps> but I can confirm that it started in the cinema itself, as it has been reported an employee was stomped to death during a showing of Murder Mill. Uh, from here, from here I can see considerable damage done all around us, and police are currently doing their best to control this crowd. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, okay, now, now there is an arrest <laughs> taking place. Several people are moving in, storming the officers at every side. Oh my god, oh, oh my god, okay, okay. <laughs> This is actually just the sound of like somebody is just playing with his action oh figures oh and he's making these sound effects. <laughs> Maybe I made that movie. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have. The rumors are true. And Stan, you can wait. I want to see. I, wanna, I just like, I want to look at these and just see if these are any Dead by Daylight things. But, was she about to pick her nose? <laughs> I think so. She was like, mmm, boogies. She's like, oh, wait, they're watching me. I can't pick my nose. <laughs> are any of them the Dead by Daylight thing? No, none of those are. There was like a like one that you could look at over there behind you. That one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I have to go over here first. This whole place is like a film set. A Akkadian demon, Mesopotamia, 23rd century BCE, statue from the Akkadian Empire. Cuny cuneiform on fa fragmentary clay tablets discovered nearby may suggest it represents a mythological demon. Worshippers believe that it is capable of bestowing supernatural power in exchange for their devotion, protecting them and destroying their enemies. Huh. How do I buy one? It looks really neat. It looks like it's like, I so my name's Harold. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> Look at that one. That one also looks like Hi, so, I'm Jerry. <laughs> I'm gay. Hey, hi, I'm Jerry, I'm gay. Because the way he's standing. <laughs> yeah, I got a little more sass in my stance. <laughs> or a couple of flamingos. <laughs> oh, oh. Wow, well, that's cheery. I actually kind of want that, though. <laughs> Same. It would go well with your posters over there. Uh-huh. Go very well with my No Sleep podcast posters, even though it's small. That's Huntress. This? Again. 
No, not that. Up there. Oh, oh. oh like, that's literally, that's literally the same one from the... That's literally the exact same Huntress mask from the thrift store. Yeah. Which you would think would be a dead giveaway. Yeah. I mean, they've already... I feel like they didn't need to spoil that, that they could have held on to that reveal that Augustine was was the uh, innkeeper early, but whatever. Yeah. Fold of fear, Justine Geoffrey. I know it's Jeffrey, but I like to say Geoffrey. <laughs> You're Geoffrey. Thank you. <laughs> Chapter 28, Manifestation. Getting back to the settlement would have been easy f a few hours ago, but the starlight was now suffocated, strangled by storm clouds. Beatriz could neither see nor hear whether she'd been followed, not with the air so full of driving rain, as well as the cackling of crows scudding across each other quickly, enough to sound like mocking laughter. Their cacophony never seemed to fade, no matter how much distance she put between herself and the stage. At least she couldn't hear the squelching, the slithering, the screaming. Yet still she pushed through on the roaring darkness. There was no way she could stop. Not now. Not when she had no clue that there, where that thing might be. That thing that Stamper had called conjured, created. Not when the memory of it rising from the sludge and ripping Ron apart was still burning bright in their mind. Or her mind. The mind. Mind! <laughs> Something smashed against her shoulder, sending her spinning, tumbling backward into stones, sliding down into shadow salt water with a noisy splash. She landed with a painful cry. The sharp, metallic taste of blood filled her mouth, and she released an awful scream as her nerves began to burn. She tried to force herself back up, only for her bad ankle to buckle. She dropped down with a scream of pain. Beatrice reached for the rocks for support, trying to find purchase, but her grasping fingers met only what felt like sinew and spines and sludge. For all the tears beginning to fill her eyes, she could just about see Durani's form looming over her, still dripping with the mud it was born from and the gore of her friends. The clouds closed above, the rain beginning to drum once more. A knotted appendage in the monster's loathsome form caught the distant, dying half-light as its body moved to strike. It's almost like I practice this stuff. It's almost like you do horror stories. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. A fiction book in this world, but maybe a dark reality in another. Let's see if there's anything else to... Wait, was that? Like, well, I guess that maybe that was kind of based on a Dead by Daylight match. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just seeing what else there is before I... Damn, if I... If, whenever I get it this old, I can't run like that. <laughs> Frank Stone's mask. Is that... dried blood? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I need to know if Linda ends up seeing Frank Stone, because if Linda does end up seeing Frank Stone and she doesn't recognize that mask, I'm gonna be a little annoyed. Yeah. Damn, it's locked. It's always locked. Go talk to Stan. The fish goes go the qua koo qua ha ka ba ka ba ha Does mean anything to you? Dear Slim, yeah, I wrote actually. You, but you still ain't calling. It's exactly like in my film. The Prophecy of Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb? Oh, uh, yeah, totally. It, it is exactly like that. You <laughs> haven't seen that film. Yeah, he has there no is idea. no tomb in The Prophecy of Pain. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, sorry. Damn. I, I was getting in this you got humble. With, the, with one of the Come other... Come to think I... of it, I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work. <laughs> he just got humble. You haven't seen a single one of my films, have you? Ooh. I am a fan of your reputation. Reputation. Sure. <laughs> Honestly, when it comes to movies, I'm more of a... <sighs> kind of guy. Crowd I like the idea. Cliff Bar. <laughs> my films examine the persistence Damn. of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd-pleasing enough for you. <laughs> They sound good to me. But now that you've yeah. shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Mm. Well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. <sighs> Respectful. I can offer you my friendship, mischievous. A little wager? Well, considering you were cocky and she just humbled you, she deserves to know why. 
Why don't we make it interesting? How so? A little wager. Terms. If I win, you tell me what I want to know. And if I win? I'll... And if I win? I'll give you my section of the film. Deal. That's official. You can't take that back. Jesus, hot sauce. We're not 12. Not unless she crossed her fingers behind her back. Flip for it? Sure. But I get to call it. I call it or no deal. All right. What's it gonna be? Oh. Oh. Um. Don't fuck up, babe. <laughs> uh. uh please. Tails. Tails never fails. You did it! <laughs> I believe we had a deal. The Not pressure. really much to tell. <laughs> I won in a bet from a real down on his luck guy. And now he's dead. So he's not exactly missing it. Who was he? A guy called Robbie G. That's how I knew him. R Robert Green? Sounds right. Oh no. Okay, so that means... He was basically one foot in the grave. That I means Robert died. No, but not oh, in the story. Not in the past. What happened to him? Yeah. From what I gathered, it sounded like he had some serious daddy issues. <clears throat> Never shut up about how much his dad picked up his life. What Anyways, is Sam gonna do? There you go. But that does mean that Robert won't die in the game that we're playing. Yeah. He will eventually, though. The means that, like, two oh, people yeah. that we know will not die is Robert, Linda, and, uh, what's her mom's name? Bonnie? Yeah, yeah Bonnie won't die either. Bo yeah. This is... No. There's no way. It can't That's be. also a giveaway of the... Yeah. Oh. The frames are framing. Hey, Linda. So does that mean that the only two states... You should really come see. Storyline-wise that we know for sure was Jaime, Chris, and maybe Sam? Because we still play as Sam, and there isn't a... Like, there... Yeah. Sam might still survive. But Sam might what do something... What is this? Like it that. was just displayed here, open to this page. Wait, did you see that little... Contain wells of great no. power. No, because I take many physical but there was another... forms. Yeah. Often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Victims. Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. See, this is so fun what to like sit here and means? play this with you because then we can sit here and just unravel know. the mystery together. But it must yeah. be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. Maybe it's. Never know if Jaime had a, had other stuff though. Cause... This yeah. died. Yeah, because I he, got him. You killed. got him killed brutally. What is that? Sam? It's either Sam or Robert. Well, Robert. Wait, just... wait, bit, 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 bit. Move the no towards him. Towards him. <laughs> Sheriff Green? Sam survives. I couldn't... I, I, for some reason, I thought it was the left button that made it go. I was like, baby, you gotta do the thing. A perilous place. Cedar Still Mill, 1980. Think we should go retrieve the rest of the crew? It's like he doesn't even question anything they tell him anymore. I mean, he, he's a smart kid, but... Parents can be wrong. He's got to get that through his smiley little skull. Bonnie? He can't just be a little mama's boy forever. Bonnie? Huh? It's getting really cold. Maybe we should, you know, get the others head out? Oh. Cold. <laughs> yeah. I got something for that. Pocket warmer. Appreciative. 
Okay, sure, Re reluctant. You probably shouldn't. Yeah, especially if he's about to get his... What? It gives her the option to drink. Yeah. But she's never drank before. I... So what happens if you say, okay, sure? I know. Because, because she made that a point when they offered her a drink. She says she's, she's never drank before in her life. Yeah, but now she's getting offered. And she, But one of the options is, okay, sure. So if the option is, okay, sure, and she drinks... Maybe... Would she become an alcoholic, maybe, then? No. If, because well, of her movie and the... No, because she said that she's never yeah. drank before ever in her life. I want to know what it means if I say, okay, sure, but at the same time, it's like, but I don't... But... I mean, well, she can't die. You know she can't die. Yeah. And you know Bonnie can't die. Yeah. Because Bonnie survives long enough to have Madison. Yeah. And raise her. I'm not saying to take your choice for you, but I want to know what happens if you say, okay, sure. Same. But I also, like, because, mm. Okay, sure. Thanks. I'm wondering if it's going to fuck up anything in the future. I don't think it can. Oh. Okay. 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 Oops. I guess I got colder than I thought when I, I was, was following say. you guys all the way out yeah. here. Yeah. I know my limits. I've had to stay right up against them just to get through the past couple weeks at home. It can't be all bad to spend more time with your family. <laughs> Spoken like a true person who's not spent enough time How with my she? family. How old is Bonnie? I've spent a lot of time with Jaime. I don't know. <laughs> I'm as... Oh, he can be all right. But she says... He just needs to grow up. She's, she has to be older than You've 16. You've got to convince him to leave and Cedar Hills when he graduates. New York. He I could come to New York anywhere. 20s? He just can't stay yeah. here. I don't know if Jaime's I'm... ever even imagined himself anywhere else. I also else. wonder... Like, he doesn't think that far ahead. I don't think Jaime well, was even supposed if he to hasn't, survive this. You've got to. I don't think what, Jaime leave? was supposed to survive at all. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's one I of mean, the people, like, I don't know if he would have died there for sure, but I don't know if he was supposed why to you survive. Might want us to go around. Yeah. Because that's also, like, another thing is that Madison's like, I never knew Jaime. So I don't think Jaime was supposed to survive regardless. Yeah. And I missed what they said, so I don't know. <laughs> I... I don't know. Uh, Sorry. It's okay. Uh, I'll just go with playful. And how's that any of your business, Bonnie Rivera? <laughs> Look, if there's one single thing a small town like this has to offer, it's freshly squeezed gossip. Why do you hate Cedar Hill so much? You used to be like town mascot. Oh, that was when I thought the world began on Main Street, circled all the way around the earth, and ended right back on Main Street. Once I moved to New York, I realized the real world starts on Canal Street. Bounces back and forth between Avenue C and West Side Highway and ends on 14th Street. Cedar Hills ain't even in the picture. How's it going with your band? I really want to see you play some shows. Oh, Dunzo, broke up, kaput. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Bands, you know. I started a band to get girls, but I made the grave error of dating a girl in my own band. Oh? She was cool. But once she found out my trip back home was indefinite, she and the band pretty much moved on without me. Aww. Oh my gosh, she's gay. You deserve better than that. Same! <laughs> she's gay! Yeah. They're gay together! I think so too. Maybe we should go find just everybody like else. Madison's gay for her mom. Are you sure? This is I true. Was just starting to warm up. Yeah, I'm sure. It's so ironic that she's so mad at her daughter for being gay when she too herself was gay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she couldn't have been gay. She was probably like bisexual since she had a daughter. No, no. It's, it's gay. 
I know. Hey, I will say. Uh, oh, you didn't look at plunder's instinct. Um, uh, I will. I was trying. So I will say that um, a friend of mine's mother was gay, and and uh, one time I did ask her. I was like, second my mom comes home, it's lickety splits go for this chica. Lickety splits, scrams, wham, bams, and thank you, man. I'm still not sure. I... I'm leaving Cedar Hills. We're good. Oh. You can it again. Or you can keep and keep chatting. Can't say I blame you. Back to the city? Mm, where else am I gonna go? There are other cities, you know. Nah, just the one. <laughs> what are you gonna do there? Mm, same thing I always do. Make it up, get the music up. Maybe make some movies. Oh, yeah? Hmm, yeah, it looks oh, fun. Since it gives you the option to get Can be, out. yeah. Where'd you get that camera anyway? Oh, it's there. Oh, well, it's not mine. I know, it's Jaime's. I asked you. Uh, we got it from a curiosity shop in town. Uh, probably the only one then. I yeah. Get another one from. Didn't we open this one? Yeah. But, okay, I'm getting it. Twice. I guess. I guess this is giving you the option in case you didn't get it the first time. I guess. Because we got that one. But okay. But um. But uh, I had a friend once though who uh, his mother was was straight up a lesbian. And I did ask her once. I was like, okay, so I gotta know. I was like, you. I was like, you have two kids. Yeah. She had. Uh, she had two sons. And I was like, so if I might ask respectfully, how did you, you know, do that if you said that you have always been a lesbian? And she was like, I only did it to have kids. Fair enough. And I was like, yeah, that was really my option. Was fair enough. I mean, but, but yeah, she was straight up like, she was like, well, there's only one way for me to have kids. <laughs> yeah. I mean, one of my friends, uh, her wife has two or three kids, I think. And I haven't asked her about it because it's not really, like, her and I aren't close like that. Mm -hmm. But Hey! Ooh. Hey! You guys? Hey, it's for horses. Nay. Hello? <laughs> But like, I'm wondering hey, if she's go? maybe like bi or something, because she has two or three kids. Very good. She's she's married to my friend, and they are so cute together. The one. Into the machine shop. <gasps> Open. Open sesame. Clack clack. I did it. Oh no. Oh no, Bonnie's gonna see Jaime's body. Oh. Jaime! Bonnie! It's Jaime! Bonnie, oh. No, 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 no. Oh no! He's not. He's not. Linda, he's not. He's not breathing. Well, he's no, in no, half! No, 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 no. I wonder if he would have died here regardless. Or if he would have died here regardless. How could this thing happen? I don't know. How could this thing happen? Maybe I would just get him killed. This doesn't make any sense. We should find out what happened. Shocked or serious? Oh. Shocked or serious? Ah! Shocked serious. Don't put this. Serious. Stop putting pressure on me. I feel like we should figure out what happened. That's the wrong answer. No <laughs> kidding. Bonnie, we should find out what happened from Chris and Robert. Uh, Chris is gone too. To be here. <laughs> I don't know that. Oh, shit. Look. What? What is it? This is... This is like what Frank Stone did with his... With his... Oh, shit. This might be some kind of copycat thing. Um, we gotta go. No, what? no, I can't that leave my man. Bonnie, we gotta go. Right now. Uh, this doesn't make sense. Frames. They're framing. Yeah. The game is struggling a little bit. I will drop that if I were you. Come on. Run! Uh, maybe take your own advice. Run, just go. I mean, 
clearly she survives that. Well, yeah, but still. See, I like it makes me wonder the stakes of the game. I don't know how old these people have survived. Yeah, like, you know that the end of the screen have to survive. No! Don't go that way! Oh my gosh, what is going on with the game? What is panic? Don't go that way! Let's just see if setting it to straight medium. Maybe I maybe there was something I had on that. I wouldn't say they fixed it, but... Where did Bonnie go? I don't know. I'm just gonna leave Bonnie to die? Even though know she doesn't? I think I had just one of the presets a little too high. Like, one of them I might have had still set to, like, Yeah, I, I am. That's hard, too. Oh, Wait, 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 wait. Reload. Hold square. Okay. Keep shooting. Ooh. Loaded off the killer with the beat oh. with the eight millimeter camera. Huh? That wards the killer off. Huh? Oh. Escape the wagon. What the hell was that? I gotta find a way out of here. So, I think you just have to keep reporting him to keep him away. I guess. That's a cool, unique feature. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the game seems to be running a lot smoother now. I think that I just had one of the presets not. Know where the scissor lived? Yeah, that's. Oh, no, no, you. Okay, well, we can't play it. It's a gin. Gosh, what the gym? You have to hold the killer off while you work off the gym. Ah, that'll be horrible. It's dead by daylight! I love it here. Like, while I will say that the stakes are feel a lot less when you know that people are gonna survive. If I can find what this is hooked up to, maybe that's my way out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do the gym. At some point. Okay. Why do you have to look? Okay. The cord goes through here, but I'm going to explore here first. But yeah, like, it, while it does feel like it's just like, well, you know they survive. Yeah. But I am also just like, okay, well, yes, they survive, but also, like, this game does have some really neat, innovative ideas. Yeah. Yeah, I think it just spit me back out. No, no, turn around, turn around, turn around. That it connects to the scissor lift. Oh. Yeah, you need to do it. You need to. Yeah. If I can get up there, that's my way out. Yeah, so you just need to go to the gym now. You don't have to crawl back here. You can do the run around. Uh, too late. <laughs> I feel like this is faster anyway than doing the whole run around. I disagree. Well, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I still did it. Oh. I popped it. You're gonna have to find the parts for it. Uh, no, no, no! Oh, it's gotcha. here! Gotcha. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Wait. Okay, you gotta look at it. Whoa! Uh, I was, I was hitting it. sort of death. Yeah, but it can't be since she's in the future. Yeah. Chapter 8. Miss Castle. I'm shocked. What the hell are you doing here? Nostalgic. It's been a long time. I don't know why I, I don't know why I felt like that needed to be her voice to say it's a long time. 
been a long time there, Jackie boy. How about a drink for old time's sake? Even though I don't drink. <laughs> How about a bourbon? It's been a long time, hasn't it? Twenty years at least. I don't keep track of How years about a anymore. Glass of Seems wine. to be working out for you. Pretty spry for an old man. I'm sorry, but we have to spare the pleasantries. There's almost no time at all. We need to talk. Uh, excuse me, just who are you exactly? Yeah, why'd you come and swing and if you just want to talk? You keep your lying mouth shut and mind your own business. Sam, do I have to mind why my own business like too? Or are you just talking to Stan's lying Remy mouth? LeBeau Maddie, impression. <laughs> Sam Green, Sheriff of Cedar Hills. My name's Gambit. Oh, you got my jurisdiction here, Bops. Former Sheriff. Why are you here? You know damn well why I'm here. We what? don't, though. I yeah. must have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice for you? Because I just can't seem to stop cleaning up after your little problem child. Oh. Wait, are you talking about the film? Is he talking about the film? Oh, it was a bad move coming here, Linda. That cursed thing should have stayed forgotten. Well, it's going to spell the end of this world. Maybe even every other. Skeptical. You, think, you really think it's cursed? Concerned. You're not making a lot of sense. <laughs> okay, Sam. You're not making a lot of sense. Are you sure you're okay? You're too old to be running around like a secret agent. I'm in the best shape of my life. <laughs> Are you? And everything I'm telling you is true. All of this is because of what happened back in Cedar Hills. What's happening then, right now? Uh, don't you understand what I'm saying? I, no. no, I'm sorry. Uh, just tell me you still have your piece of the film. Yeah, I still have it. And them? We've all got our pieces. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and at least I'm not too late. <laughs> but Augustine has made us all an offer. And you turned her down. Right? Defensive. It's a very generous offer. Hesitant. We haven't committed to anything yet. I it's... mean, they did kind of put him in that bowl, though. They, they did put him in that bowl, so does she have them already? No, because what's his face? He still has his in the oh. thing on his person, right? I thought he dumped it into the bowl and just kept the little container it was in. No, I think he has it in the container. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, <laughs> it's a very generous offer. It's a, we haven't committed to anything yet. I feel like we haven't... Cause... We haven't committed to anything yet. <sighs> okay. Okay, <laughs> then we can work with this. Now, if we play our cards right, we might still have a chance to fix it. Fix what? Linda, what is this guy talking about? The film strip you're carrying pieces of all around with you. It's part of a movie Linda made with her friends. With my son. But it's not just a film. It's a prison. Something far older. Something more powerful than anything humanity's ever conceived. It's, it's pure, malignant corruption, and its hunger is unbounding. Oh, okay, Sam. <laughs> Laying it on a bit thick, aren't you? That's pretty rich coming from you, Mr. Stanford. Hold on. You guys know each other? Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, I have been on the receiving end of the former sheriff's outlandish claims and dramatic interjections for quite some time now. <laughs> Dude is a walking mess. Uh, I got a hand or two. You are looking better than the last time I saw you, yeah? Who's your guy? God, I can't stand him. This charlatan <laughs> tell you how he manipulated my son and stole his piece of the film when Robert was in a very vulnerable place in his life angry you are so so full of people, stan skeptical stan told me he won the film strip <laughs> angry <laughs> 
You were completely full of <laughs> weren't you? Oh, oh, let's not... Shut up! He can't help it, Linda. Lion's all he knows how to do. I do my business on the level. I'm not out there sneaking around in the dark like some grubby little crook. Fuck <laughs> <Like> this. <laughs> I'm done with your shit, man. Mm. Uh, Come on. Should we go after him? <laughs> Why don't you go keep an eye on Stan? I'll stay here. All that stuff he was saying, is he for real? I don't know. But I don't think anybody should be wandering off alone right now. But why? <coughs> and you trust her to be around Stan? Uh. Alone? Uh. Hey Amy, it's your turn. Hey! Still my turn! You've been playing exclusively now, like I've been. Yay! Was this lot Seems like me getting Jaime killed was probably the best thing that could have happened for us. I guess. What? Hey! Hey, hold up a sec! Stan! I don't run too fast, remember. Where'd he go? The TV. He went inside the TV. Why is this here? What did I just do? What? Oh. Oh. The frames. Uh oh. Oh, it's framing. Keep looking for Stan. This game do be struggle bus for a little bit. Yeah. But I do not believe it is fully optimized at the moment. That's fine. Uh, well, uh, did this room just did this hallway just change? I think so. Huh. Madison, did Dad, you fall asleep again? You want a bathroom break or something? <laughs> you need to potty? Are you taking a dump? <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of poo crawling earlier. Dan! I saw that too. The little flicker of... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see what's over here. Oh. oh, it was a door. It's locked. Man, I'm scared. <laughs> Why are all the doors locked? Because you're not allowed to make yourself at home, but only within the rooms that aren't locked. Make yourself at home, but only in these specific areas. Wait, 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 I'm trying. Oh, God. The occult. Just what I need. Me? It's you. The occult. Yeah, and that's about my reaction to just what I need. <laughs> but not scared. Happy. Now I can go downstairs. Happy. Um, Happy. <laughs> It's a green room. Ah. That's a green room. It's so pretty, though. It's a green, green room. It says danger. You're gonna go in the dangerous green, green room. Oh, my voltage. Ah. Frames. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but. What the hell? Uh, there seems to be a problem. There seems. I guess this place. There's an awful lot of ghosts in here. Stan, do you know where these ghosts came from, Stan? <laughs> is that Is Chris? someone actually in there? Who's in there? Looks like some sort of pattern. To the ring, you were on. Oh. Oh. Oh, Side of I really need to shut this thing that's down. Yeah. I think that's it. That's fine right now. And then, yeah, I'm gonna figure out that one. Okay, keep going. Good. Add that. And then we'll add the most outer ring. Oh, you can't move? 
the outer ring. Okay, then you need to line up the, the ring with the top one. Yeah, that, and then you can do the middle one, I think, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then just the middle most. No, no, I think you have yeah. it. Very center. Okay, that made something happen. That's good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So Chris is did Chris just get launched into the future? <sighs> Whatever yes. happened to a good old fashioned on off switch? Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, what what do then? Uh, they always knew every super rich asshole had a room like this in their house. Are you holding it? Yeah. I think you're just pressing it. I think you have to hold it. Because, yeah, that one's lit up and the other one's are. That makes sense. There's one. Oh, I have to do this three times. Okay. Okay, we're cooking now. Two more of those ring thingies to go. Oh, I'm cooking? What are you making? Um. I don't know yet. Try starting from the outermost and working it back into the middle. I mean, it just makes sense. I mean, that just kind of sounds like a voice, too. Yeah. She seems to be struggling, bro. I'm trying. I have to say, Maddie is a very relatable awkward character. Yeah. And I love her. So. Before the ghosts devour the only character I can play as. But I couldn't figure out what was square. Okay. Shit. Let me try again. I did it. it. Figure out which was the square because I'm used to Xbox <laughs> more Nintendo. Okay, so was I just locked in here for like 20 years? I 
Professor. Oh, that's my character. Yeah. Was she just locked in there for like 20 years? I don't know. 